The fiber tape tendon compression bridge technique may be utilized during total shoulder or hemiarthroplasty procedures as a method of repairing the subscapularis tendon. It may be used when either a subscapularis peel or lesser tuberosity osteotomy is employed for the subscapularis takedown, although this animation shows use with the LTO method. After the subscapularis is reflected, standard preparation for the humeral stem is completed. Bone tunnels are then established in the proximal humerus using the supplied 2.0 mm drill bit. If a collared humeral stem is being used, only one hole is needed medial to the lesser tuberosity. Two additional holes are drilled inside the bicipital groove, spaced approximately 15 mm apart. The fiber tape loop is removed from the card and its needle is passed through the inferolateral humeral bone tunnel. Configure the suture loader so that suture limbs enter the bone tunnel directly from the suture loader. Care should be taken to ensure the knot does not migrate off of the suture loader as the suture strands are being pulled proximally through the bone tunnel. The needle is then passed from the interior of the humeral canal through the medial bone tunnel. The suture is pulled through the medial bone tunnel while ensuring that a loop of suture is maintained external to the humerus. Next, the tiger tape loop is removed from the card and its needle is passed through the superolateral bone tunnel. Again, the suture is unwrapped from the suture passer tab and pulled through the tunnel proximally, similar to the fiber tape strands. In this case, when a collared implant is used, there is no need to pass the tiger tape strands through the medial bone tunnel. These suture limbs will rest on the humeral resection plane and under the stem collar. The distal tip of the humeral stem is then placed inside of the loops created by the fiber tape and tiger tape sutures. Slack is removed from the suture loops by gently pulling on the medial suture strands as the humeral stem is being inserted. The humeral head component is then placed on the humeral stem and the humerus is reduced. Using the attached needle, pass the inferior sutures through the subscapularis tendon. Follow with superior sutures in the same manner. The needles are then cut from the sutures and discarded. The tapered end of a suture of each type, fiber tape and tiger tape, are passed through the suture passer eyelet. The suture loader is pulled, which passes the tapered ends through the preformed knot. This process is repeated with the remaining suture limbs. Hand tensioning should be performed alternately between the superior and inferior knots. A half hitch is then tied over the inferior racking hitch knot. The superior suture limbs are loaded through the tip of the suture tensioner and passed around the paddle and pleated securely. The suture tensioner handle is then rotated clockwise until adequate suture tensioning is achieved. Alternating half hitches are then thrown over the superior knot stack. The same tensioning steps are followed on the inferior suture limbs. One final alternating half hitch is then thrown over the inferior knot stack. If desired, suture tensioning can be repeated. The excess suture limbs are cut, which completes the repair.